What's up, folks? So I just got back from seeing Don't Breathe 2, starring Stephen Lang. It was actually pretty good. You know, the director that worked on the first one didn't really come back for Fede Alvarez, but I think he uh, wrote it or produced this one. And one of his co-writers from the first one directed this one. So it was still all in the family, but it was actually pretty good. Stephen Lang plays the blind man who tries to protect his home after invaders invade his home. Kind of like in the first one, but only in this, this little girl is involved. He took this little girl under his wing and tries to save her, tries to protect her. So he really becomes a protector in this. And there was a lot of debate whether or not he was going to be a good guy in this. And he kind of was. And in a way, I can kind of see why people would get kind of mad at that. And the positive reigns, I actually liked it. I actually didn't really favor the first one that much because it just wasn't for me. But in this one, he actually turned into a real good killing machine. And he was going after these scumbags that pretty much had it coming. You know, in the first one, they, they were sort of, you know, they, they were breaking into a man's house. And that's something you should not never do. But he did kind of take it a little far in that one. So he was kind of perceived as a villain. But in this, it was like one of those redeemable qualities that they tried to add to him. They humanized him. And I thought that was actually a pretty nice touch. You know, the acting in it, especially the little girl, she was really good at the heart of this movie. It was nice seeing the chemistry between this this blind man and this little girl. It's like he had a daughter. And also the kills in it weren't that bad. Got a little bit of a negative issue about that, you know, later, but it was a real nice setup. And you got some great kills. Not great, great, but you got some good kills in there, which really really made it good in a way he was like this uh, Rambo meets Michael Myers meets Terminator type and for me yeah that was that was really good to my heart <laughs> but it was a great story like I said a very extremely redeemable quality in this film especially from what the first one did and that's what really separates it and again I can understand like for people that was hardcore fans of the first one why it that would get on their nerves why that would rub them the wrong way but again you know it wasn't a bad movie so now as far as the negatives goes the kills it, it was good but there wasn't that creative and there wasn't much there and there was several things that happened in this movie there was a couple things that happened that i could pretty much mention to you where this one guy gets his mouth glued shut but instead of cutting the glue itself, he decides to stick this uh, wrench or whatever it was through his mouth. And I'm thinking, really, dude, you were right there. And then the guy that got his mouth shut did it, like, all himself. So, like, what was the point of that? And some of the kills, as good as they were, there wasn't much there. There wasn't as much as you expect. There wasn't as much as you want. But other than that, it was a good movie. It was one of those horror-based movies that hardcore horror fans like myself would still enjoy. If you look past those couple of, you know, triggers. <laughs> Don't Breathe 2 is really good. You'll still have a good time. You know, especially for those of you who, who enjoyed the first one but still is open-minded on the direction they did. And I think the, the reason why they did the direction the way they did is because the survivor of the first one the girl that played her in the first one didn't want to come back so they had to make some changes so like continuity wise it won't really make that much sense but again if you can shut your brain off to that part of it and just enjoy it for what it is don't breathe too is still an enjoyable fun time and you'll have a good time regardless so thank you so much guys for watching this video as usual like subscribe comment and share what did you think of don't breathe too leave me a comment down below give me your thoughts and i'll see you on the next video peace